Welcome back, everyone, to North America Star League. We're in the middle of uh, a series between Alicia and Cruncher, PvP. Now, Alicia took game number one after good mind games and just very standard PvP, what you can expect on the ladder. So if you're trying to refine your PvP uh, for ladder play, just watch that game over and over and see how Alicia was able to fake his opponent, read his opponent, and able to react accordingly. We're going into game number two, ladies and gentlemen, on Taldarim Alter. Oh, Okay. So this is more four gate action. He yeah. chose Tolerim Alter. It's interesting, right? Normally Protoss is uh, like to go into another you know, stage of the game. It's but interesting because there's some times where you try to bait a four gate and you try to get ahead as a result and you go three gate. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you go three gate aggression and try to see if you can beat out your opponent. Or you can even try to go two gate and then defend and then try to get some tech out. It's really interesting, but in the end, uh, Tolerim is just a very wide open Yeah map it's just hard to defend it's interesting because as you were saying uh, a way to explain it is a rock paper scissor kind of dynamic where all these players um, have the ability to either four gate defensive defend against a four gate like hard defend against it whether it's three gate or four gate defense and the last one is just to go one base tech really really fast either one gate two gate robo twilight council dark shrine any of these um, and you always have this thing where the four gate loses to the defensive four gate, defensive four gate loses to attack, and attack loses to a four gate. So it's like it's mm. kind of frustrating, I think, for Protosses in general. Yeah, and then you have those like weird scenarios where three gates kind of get thrown in. Yeah, and, and that could be used as like, like super it's hard so pressure. It's so weird that like it's like when you go rock paper scissors, someone goes like stapler. They're like, what? What does this beat? And you're like, well, it beats paper. <laughs> Um, somehow beats it beats rock, scissors. But it kind of loses against rock yeah, and ties like against other things. <laughs> it's like, I don't know where this fits in. And a lot comes down to scouting. Now, a huge thing, and this is probably the most frustrating thing on Tolerium Alter, in my opinion, is scouting. Uh, you, oh, look at this. A really fast gate from, oh, sh no, just kidding. It's a delayed gate from Cruncher. He went 13 gate. Mm -hmm. Originally, I thought Alicia was going 11 gate, but I was looking at the supplies, and I was like, wow. He actually went normal gate. Cruncher delaying it. So yeah. he's going to go for a little bit more economic route. Cruncher is prioritizing his chrono boost. So it's basically the second chrono boost before the mm. gateway. Whereas his opponent is going gateway before the second chrono boost. Very minor things. Uh, but important to note because it does affect you economically ever so slightly. You would think it, yes. it does not, but and it does. And what's huge is Cruncher's going to scout Alicia on his first attempt. That is very, That's very really nice. good. Really key. I, I feel like I always scout raw, and it's all, it's all such a mind game. I'm like, all right, this game I'm going to scout clockwise. Next game I'm going to scout counterclockwise. Next game I'm going to throw it up and try to scout directly diagonal. Always, mm -hmm. always, always. I get it on the oh third time. Oh, my God. I hate people that scout diagonally because this is what happens, right? <laughs> I scout out, then they scout me initially. And then so you and think I'm just they're like, close. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> I go cross map on a map like Taldorim Alter, and they're not there. I'm like, this is so dumb. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. It's like, okay, forget it. I'm playing black for the rest of this game says Terran <laughs> no, that's okay we uh, we see that Cruncher does end up getting in and seeing his opponent and, and well as Alicia both players getting very lucky on their scouting uh, patterns but very needed as well you can see a huge stockpile of chrono boost and no second gas from Alicia Cruncher already getting his second gas so oh but he oh. cancels it what is this sorcery this sorcery is faking out some sort of tech play, and he's going for four gate, or at least some sort of gateway aggression. Uh, no, no, no. He's, he's de he knows Alicia is going to four gate as some kind, or at least get super aggressive. And four gate it is for Alicia. <laughs> when you save up that much going to boost, and you're lacking a second gas, it just spells uh, quad gate attack. And you can see that Crunch is slowly adding on those gates. Now there are some interesting things if you chrono boost out a lot and you don't prioritize uh, Cybernetic Core, you can defend against the first initial wave, but that's only if you go 3 gates Stalker, normally you get 2 gases to do it. Instead, Crunch are going to try to do this 3 gates without a second gas, and I'm really curious if this is going to work for him. Oh no, he's going to get 4 gates, just kidding, but it's pretty delayed. It is a weird way to do this. Now he does lose a couple of minerals, I think it's something like... Uh, I'm not even going to do the math, I forgot how many you lose. But it is a, a good amount of minerals you lose from the assimilator. Um, which delays his gateway ever so slightly, or his gateways ever so slightly. But both these players are kind of doing the same build. Harvester tab is showing the same amount of harvesters. So 
This it's is interesting, Sim City as well from Cruncher. He knows he's going to be the one more defensive. Oh, catching the probe. Yep. Very key. No uh, pylon's going to be really close to uh, reinforcing. There is a time where Cruncher actually is a little bit vulnerable because the last gateway yeah. is not done yet. So we'll see if uh, Mr. Alicia is able to do anything. Oh, that first shot could make all the difference. Cruncher is going to walk oh, into no. it directly. And Cruncher does have a pretty significant stalker advantage. Yeah. And and mm. No, actually, it's it's a absolutely even now. But the extra zealot goes to Alicia. So that was actually a job well done by Alicia. And on top of that, the pylon pickoff. Oh, no, there wasn't a pylon pickoff. Was there a pylon pickoff? No, he was trying to initially. Cruncher, that's what I'm saying. It's in interesting Sim City because Alicia knows to build oh. it further back, and Cruncher is building it closer to natural. Now, look at this. Cruncher has, uh, has a pylon warping in a zealot and trying to see if he can draw the attention away. Meanwhile, back at the natural, still some volleys between the two stalkers. If Cruncher can buy enough time, who knows what could happen. Alicia merely warping in a zealot back at home, but he's also trying to fight at both fronts. The stalkers are getting targeted down from Cruncher while he's targeting down the zealots. Not necessarily the best moves from Cruncher as he can't afford to lose stalkers back at home. Income sh tab is showing no probes really being lost, but two warpins are committed over there. That is pretty substantial, but the fact of the matter is Alicia has been a lot a lot more cost efficient with his units. Look at the mm. units lost tab. 11 to 6. The resources are showing for themselves. I don't know how Cruncher is going to stop this, but he had a golden opportunity to get out so many probes. Look at how many probes are actually dead or near dying in the main. There's four of them. Yeah, and you can see Cruncher's losing the remainder of his stalkers back at his home. And with that, that means Cruncher can't defend. GG, Alicia takes the series. And number one spot in the division with a very convincing win over Cruncher. Four gate, four gate, win it. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. Well Pretty played by Alicia. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's a. Uh, I, I guess I liked it because it was just in the end, just classic. I'm gonna out micro you. Yes. Nothing really to it. So. And I, it's important to note that Alicia right now is number one, and I don't think there's anybody that can stop him. The only person that is near him, it, actually, there's two people. I'm sorry. Lowly. Lowly and Rhett, I believe. Is that right? No. No? No, oh, wait. No, no, no. No, no, no. Because Alicia beat Rhett. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yes. Okay, so, so Lowly. Lowly is the only person who can. But he lost to Alicia. Already. Yeah, exactly. So Alicia has to lose and Lowly has to win, and then Lowly is six and two. Mm. And then Alicia is uh, is six. No, oh, Alicia's no. done. You're right. He won the division. Oh, yeah, that's it. Ah, not bad. All right, so congratulations to Alicia. He's number one in the division, number four, which guarantees him a spot in the playoffs, which will be uh, just in a couple weeks. And so, guys, uh, that's it for the matches. We want to thank Epson for sponsoring that series. Epson, the number one projector band worldwide. Check them out at Epson.com. We'll be back with another edition of Zoe's Corner, our daily wrap-up, our predictions, and our thoughts and announcements about next week's matches. Don't go anywhere. We're about to finish off here at Week 8, Division 4.